wanted to test our outlet with a very hydral item. Hopefully, uh, we don't blow the inverter. Give it a whirl. So our battery just came in the mail. These weigh probably like 70 to 80 pounds. So we got four of these and each one's 100 amp hours, so this will give us 400 amp hours of uh, off-grid power, and that should last us about two to three days. Um, so if it was like a three-day rainstorm, this should hold us over for three days. So we got our four batteries in the location that they're gonna be in. It fits perfectly next to our heater. And this is where, uh, on this back wall, we're gonna have, um, this is where like our solar charger and our inverter and our breaker box, like all this stuff's gonna be on this back wall, plugging into these batteries. fitting our electrical system uh, wiring configuration. We are doing this because we need to have everything wired up for when we put in our wall panels. We are gonna be wiring from our batteries to our inverter and then from our inverter with all the fuses and stuff in between to uh, our wall outlets, which are these two yellow wires. So we just cut, um, this is our three aught wire gauge. It's one of the, it's the second from the largest you can buy uh, for these kind of installations. And then we have our lug nut that we're applying to the end of it. This will be plugging directly into our battery bank posts um, here, and it's gonna go to this one. So the next step is to clamp it down. we are uh, wiring up our battery terminals. We have the batteries that we chose um, are really nice because they have a through terminal instead of a top mounted terminal. So we can mount two side by side um, on opposite sides so we don't have to worry about them not connecting properly. We just got done wiring up our batteries in parallel. Uh, now each one of these is 100 amp hours and now they all run in uh, 400 amp hours at 12 volts. Each battery is a 12 volt battery and we are about to uh, start charging them to make sure that they're maxed out. This is our Stanley 25 amp charger, so. It's at 25 amps because it needs to be charged. Once it gets to 100, it'll drop down to three amps trickle charge, and then kind of just turn itself on and off as it needs to be charged. are charged. Let's just see. So it's going down into a trickle charge mode. Alright. Batteries are fully charged. Let's turn this inverter on. Ta-da! All right, that's awesome. So that light is running off of just these solar batteries. Everything we wired up works. <laughs> no, that's super cool. Yeah, so this has been a complete, like this has taken forever. 
Um, it's really slow. You have to custom make every wire. Uh, we took us like days and days of just research just to be able to do this, and it finally works. So now we can charge just the batteries, and every outlet in the bus will work. That's amazing. Um, we'll plug into the other one and uh, test all the outlets. All right, yeah, I'm good. All right. That's awesome. Say hi, Sadie. That's Ryan's girlfriend. All right, so yeah. both these 500 watt lights, each one, so I guess total we're doing 1,000 watts on this inverter um, are being drawn off of these batteries, being charged by this battery charger that's going to an AC outlet. But eventually this will be replaced by solar panels and everything's gonna run off of uh, off the grid. It's a little messy looking. We'll do a more in-depth video later, uh, or a section of this video later, but all these are connected into 400 amp hours. Each battery is 100 amp hours. Um, they feed up and into our pure sine wave inverter, uh, 3,000 watts. And then from there, both of our outlet circuits are plugged in. One goes to the left side of the bus, and the other one goes to the right side. The left side has three outlets, and the right side has uh, two. A little bit messy back here, but this is what three days of wiring looks like after you're all done. We're about to test our outlet with a very hydro item. Hopefully, uh, we don't blow the inverter. Give it a whirl. Yeah, the lights dim because uh, the inverter takes a, like a millisecond to catch up with the draw needs. Um, so it has to stop the light power to be able to power the saw until it ramps up and the saw has full power and the light has full power. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. We will be doing a more in-depth video later on the whole system including solar panels, but this is what we have right now. If you like this video, uh, you know, feel free to subscribe to see more from us. And if you want to see more behind the scenes, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at The Voyager Project. We'll see you around next time. Thanks. Tweet us on Tinder. And uh, slide into my DMs on Snapchat. Uh, my RuneScape username and password.